Currently, there is a shortage of feeds for most livestock and that is why scientists have to find alternative feedstuff to feed to the livestock and on this video, this scientist from South Africa wanted to find out if acacia tree can be fed to the pigs and they were fattening their pigs using the acacia leaves. This is because there was a theory, background information that was done on, on the acacia and, the, it, and it was found out that acacia tree contains a lot of essential nutrients and high crude protein which can be beneficial to livestock. So the research was about that I'm going to review right now was about the growth rate of pigs fed, fed on incremental leaves on, on acacia troiteris leaf meal based diet down in South Africa. Uh, so, so, and if it's your first time here, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and let's dive in into it, into this video. And I'm going to be giving a free chance to one farmer to join my organic farming course. So, comment where you're watching this video from, and we'll be eager to join you into my program which I'll choose one farmer from the comments for free. So let's get started. The live small scale farmers usually face the challenge of shortage of feeds and also high prices of feeds. So there was a need to find alternative feeds for them. So in, you know, across Africa, there's this tree called acacia tree and it has several species. And in the area, they were find, and in this area where, the, where this research was done, that is South Africa, there was five dominant species that were leguminous. You have the Acacia doritiris, Acacia robusta, Acacia necrotica, and Acacia, acacia ingressis, and Acacia zondorofoe. These are Acacia trees species found in South Africa. And specifically, they wanted to find out if Acacia doritiris can be used to be fed to the livestock. That is, for this video, pigs and they harvested the raves by cutting off the branches from the tree and then they dried under a shade now the branches with the leaves this drying under a shade was used to prevent damage by heat sensitive you know damage of heat sensitive nutrients and then they dried the branches very carefully and now they they had to beat the branches so that it can release the leaves after the branches and the leaves have dried. Then they sieved through a 2 ml, 2 millimeter, yeah, 2 millimeter sieve to get rid of all those twigs and and it was stored by in airtight bags. So this acacia leaf now were fed to pigs which were F1 pigs and hybrid that was for pigs that were crossed from landries and large white. I'm going to make a video why you should always stock F1, F1 livestock. Never stock a pig or an, any livestock that you have, you know, that you know that you don't know the parent stock because that will not be beneficial to you. You end up making losses. And for these pigs, were about 60 kilograms on average, and they had to test several inclusion levels so that you can find which of this inclusion level is beneficial. So they had zero, 0 grams per 1 kilogram of feed, 50 grams, 100 grams, 150 grams, 200 grams and 250 grams for every kilogram of feed and that is dry matter feeds. So they had to find out the inclusion level that acacia toritidis leaf meal can be used. Which of this inclusion level is beneficial? And they fed this through this acacia leaf, you know, through the feeds for 21 days. So here are the results that they found out that acacia doiteris and acacia xanthorophoe leaf meal had the highest crude protein and fat content amongst all the acacia species. And that proved that the theory or the background information about the acacia doiteris is true that it contains the highest amount of crude protein. Also, they found out that also at the acacia species trees or species have the have a varying amount of fiber. That is the neutral 
detergent fiber and the acid detergent fiber. And also throughout the experiment, they were taking out several data. They were measuring the average dairy feed intake, the average dairy gain of weight, and the ratio between gain and feed ratio, which was always measured weekly. And you can see, and it was concluded that which now which is our take a home message is that acacia toritiris leaf meal can be included up to 150 grams per kilogram of feeds. So for you to get the benefits, you should feed this specific amount, not beyond this. So you're going to mix this way. You're going to take like one kilogram of the big finisher feeds and then you're going to add 150 gram of the acacia leaf meal that is acacia powder and that I explained how you are going to get the acacia powder so you are going to mix 150 grams of the acacia powder with one kilogram of finisher feeds for your pigs and this this inclusion level can be fed to pigs without any negatively affecting the animal's performance also the ability with which the pig utilizes the leaf meal based diet improved with duration of exposure that is adaptation of such diet so you should introduce this slowly and you find out that over time the pigs your pigs will, res will start responding very very well so i hope that this video is going to give you a clear view of how acacia leaf from especially this species toriteris can be beneficial to your pigs especially the finishing pigs so See you on my next video. Click on this video here too.